Hey everybody, uh, Mark Bushy here with Archer Real Estate Services and Empire Real Estate Group. Uh, it's uh, Friday afternoon here, at the, uh, and we're doing the Friday Investor Corner here on our site. Um, Ashley and I just went out with a client here to take a look at a potential rental property. Uh, it's a property neither one of us had seen before. I just want to talk a little bit about that property. Um, I'm not going to say specifically the address of the place. There were some issues with the property. Um, it wasn't South Moorhead. But uh, so as a rental property owner myself, you know, we go through and we look for some key items in here in the house and then some things that might be detractors or, um, or, or bonuses with the house. So the house we looked at in particular was actually kind of a nice layout, but they did some really, really low quality work. The flooring was actually coming apart in the main part of the house here. Um, so it kind of needs new flooring throughout the whole house actually. Uh, it looks like they took, at one point, they took the garage off the house or removed it, knocked it down and put an addition back on and added two bedrooms in the house, which made it a five bedroom, uh, two bath house. The only issue with this, and the house is in South Moorhead, the only issue with that being five bedroom is that if you're going to rent this to say college kids, you know, or a group of people, um, you can't have more than four unrelated people in the house. So actually five bedrooms is kind of a not really good thing. So if they're related, you can have a family there or you can have, you know, if you have college kids that are, you know, brother and sister or whatever that kind of thing, um, they can, you know, then you can have more people in the house. But if it's five separate kids, they don't allow that in the Moorhead uh, rental program. So um, not sure that was the best improvement for the house as a rental property. So um, a couple other issues we saw in this house was the foundation was... Uh, had some issues. There was, uh, it was a finished basement, but it was, it looked like a lot of the finished work downstairs was hiding issues with the basement. So you could see that the uh, windows were tilted in where the basement walls were pushing in and some of the uh, sheetrock and stuff was pushing in and pushing apart. So because of the shifting foundation. And I'm not actually sure which was the fifth bedroom. There was a fifth bedroom upstairs possibly, or the basement might've had a fifth bedroom as well. Um, the one upstairs, I'm not sure was even big enough to be considered a bedroom. There's a minimum size in Moorhead. I have to look it up, but I think it's seven feet by 10 feet is the minimum size to qualify for a bedroom, or I think it's a 70 square feet. And this may not have been a big enough room for that. Um, if they're considering the room downstairs as a bedroom, possibly the egress window might not have qualified it. I don't know that it's a big enough window and it wasn't close enough to the ground to be easily accessible. So it may not be a fifth bedroom. So. Otherwise, uh, there were some updates in the house as far as uh, plumbing and electricals and different things. Uh, it wasn't terrible. The roof was actually looked newer. Um, and it is close to Concordia and MSU, so it would be a good location for a college rental. The price they're asking for it would not work for rental for my numbers, uh, so you'd have to come in a lower price. But uh, there were some serious issues. So um, if you guys ever have any questions on rental properties, there are different rules in Moorhead, Fargo, and West Fargo. West Fargo doesn't actually have a rental registration program at all. Um, but uh, Fargo is not as strict as Moorhead. Moorhead is by far the strictest of the three cities there. So they do regular inspections once a year and they check for a variety of code violations um, and they're pretty strict on that. So if you have any questions at all, uh, be sure to give me a call or give Ashley a call. We can help you out there. Um, I'm going to actually look at a property for myself now and uh, keep on the hunt for some properties for a couple of investors that we work with. So uh, yeah, if you have any questions, give us a call and happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Thank you.